The Yankees, obviously adding another huge power bat in Juan Soto, over 93 and a half wins. Yeah, so here's the thing with the Yankees this year. Again, 93 and a half wins in a division that is so, so good is a number that does scare me a little bit, especially after winning 82 games last year. Yeah. So, you know, I was sitting here thinking, okay, they won 82 games last year. They add Juan Soto. Is Juan Soto worth 12 wins for, for a team in, in that division? N no, but you had Aaron Judge, who missed the majority, uh, uh, such a massive chunk of last year. I don't think when he did come back that his toe was completely healthy. No. So he didn't have a year that I, I think he's going to have a fantastic year. He's one of, if not the best hitters in the game of baseball. He's a great outfielder. You pair him in a lineup with... Uh, with Juan Soto now. You pair him with, let's not forget, Anthony Rizzo, pre that weird concussion thing that happened last yeah. year that went undiagnosed for so long, was killing it. And then that concussion happened that was undiagnosed and he played for a while and he couldn't hit. Well, now he doesn't have to deal with that. You also add to the team a big energy personality guy in Alex Verdugo. You add Marcus Stroman, mm -hmm. who I think... Look, despite all of the like talk on social media about when he first signed there, I think Marcus Stroman's going to be a great New York Yankee. I really do. I think he's huge for that rotation. You add Soto, you add Stroman, you add Verdugo, you add Grisham, who can play a great defense and uh, be a, a good like face run. Just adds a lot of versatility for your team. And what you lost is uh, Michael King, who I, I like, Burrito, Vasquez, Higashioka. This team got a lot better. They're going to have a good rotation. Carlos Rodon looked fantastic in his in his spring training debut. Remember, Just again, that, there that was lasts. so many injuries last year. Carlos Rodon was out a massive chunk of the year, and when he did come back, it was never it never felt right. Now it feels like he's coming into the year healthy. You have Gary Cole. You add Stroman to that rotation. You have Soto and Judge hitting back to back. I think this team should be. I, I think they should be a World Series favorite. I think they're Ooh. a very good team, obviously health dependent, but so is so many teams around the league. I really like the Yankees. I'll take them over 93 and a half wins. The ultimate World Series faves, Yankees and Dodgers is what you have right now? I actually, I, I, think the, I, think the, I think we're underrating the Yankees in the public eye. I think it's fun to poo-poo on the Yankees, right? I, I really do. What? I, I think poo -poo? I, I said this the other day. I said, uh, here's an <laughs> underrated team that I think can win the World Series. And I said the New York Yankees. And you hear, well, they have like the fifth or sixth best, best odds to win the World Series. Well, hear me out. Those same people that are saying, oh, really underrated the New York Yankees, the team that's talked about all the time, are the same people saying the rotation has no depth behind Garrett Cole. Aaron Judge can't stay healthy. Giancarlo Stanton can't hit, can't stay healthy. The, this and that and this and that and one thing leads to another and next thing you know, they're saying there's no depth on that team. You get one injury, the Yankees are going to stink. They won 82 games last year. They're a fourth place team in that division. There's no chance they come back and win the division this year. Well, I disagree with all of that. I do believe there's more depth on the team this year. I do believe the pitching staff is going to be very good. By the way, there's a lot of Blake Snell speculation out there with the New York Yankees, but we won't Whoa. talk about that because it hasn't happened. I, I think mean, this that would team be huge. can win 94 games in a yeah. really good division. We'll see. But I, I really do think the public eye that's not Yankees fans yeah. is downplaying how good this New York Yankees team is is going to be in 2024. You just kind of slid that Blake Snell in there. If they get Blake Snell, they're, yeah, definitely over 93 yeah. and a half wins. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.